This video is for those who want to calibrate the pool water lab tester according to their own specifications on how it should manually read tests. Whether you are seeking more accurate for specific water parameters or need to adapt the tester for specialized testing conditions, this tutorial will provide you with the step-by-step -step instructions necessary to customize your device's performance. We will demonstrate this calibration process using laboratory samples. This approach allows us to show you precisely how adjustments can be made under controlled conditions, ensuring that you can confidently replicate the steps and achieve accurate results with your own tester. We have laboratory samples of pH, CYA, and chlorine within a certain range. Additionally, we have prepared a sample of free chlorine at a higher concentration range to demonstrate the tester's capability with more robust levels. Alongside this, we also have samples of phosphates and alkalinity, which will help illustrate how the tester handles a variety of chemical measurements under different testing conditions. Let's move on to the demonstration. First, you need to perform a zero test. This preliminary step calibrates the tester by setting a baseline measurement with no reactants present, ensuring the accuracy of subsequent tests. Press the zero button to start the test and wait until the countdown completes. This process may take a few moments as the tester prepares for accurate measurement. Now, we'll replace the cuvette with the sample we will be measuring, which includes pH, CYA, and chlorine levels. We have preset the necessary parameters on the tester. Please note, when conducting the test, it is crucial that the cuvette fits tightly and does not allow any light to pass through. Proper sealing is essential to ensure accurate results. Start the test by pressing the D1, T2, and T3 buttons, and then confirm by pressing the OK button. Wait until the countdown finishes. This waiting period is necessary as the tester processes the sample, ensuring that the readings are stable and accurate. The test is complete. Let's compare the results. Thus, the pH value for the laboratory sample is 7,50, while the tester shows a value of 7,49. For CYA, the laboratory sample reads 48, whereas the tester displays 50. For chlorine, the laboratory sample measures 0,72, while the tester shows 0,78. We can adjust the pH readings by 0,01, but this is a very minor difference. In practical terms, making such a minute adjustment is often unnecessary as it affects the last digit, which is typically the least significant in most practical applications. If you are going to adjust the readings, it's better to modify the first digit after the decimal point rather than the third. Typically, on the standard devices you have at home, you usually see only the first decimal place, not the second or third. Therefore, to now adjust the tester's calculations, we need to return to the previous menu by pressing the zero button. Using the down button, scroll down and select the settings icon. Press OK and you will see plus on the screen. Press OK again. Then we select the measurement cuvette in which we will be adjusting the calculation settings for the parameter. In this case, we select the first cuvette where we tested the pH. Press the 1 button. Select the pH parameter by using the up and down buttons. Press OK. Now, at the top of the screen, you can see a field displaying the current value the tester is showing. This display is crucial as it provides real-time feedback on the measurement in progress. It allows you to monitor the exact readings as they are being calculated. Our tester indicated a result of 7,49 in the test we just conducted. Using the up and down buttons, select the digit you want to adjust. To move to the next digit, press OK button. We had a result of 7,49, so we changed the last digit to 9 using the up and down buttons. We have set the value to 7,49. Press OK button to confirm. In the lower field, we set the value we wish to see. In our case, the sample had a result of 7,50.
Set your desired parameter. Press OK to confirm your selection. Select the floppy disk icon and press OK to save the result. So, we can now see that the value in the first measurement cuvette, T1, has been adjusted. Let's now select another parameter in the second cuvette for adjustment. Choose the parameter that you have previously tested in the same cuvette. Select the plus icon with the OK button to add the parameter. Press D2 button. In this cuvette, the parameter we measured was CYA. Using the up and down buttons, select the necessary parameter. The fact that we adjusted the pH value by one hundredth is a very minor change. The tester itself can display a margin of error of up to two hundredths in either direction. Essentially, we've adjusted the pH value to align with the tester's operational tolerance or its permissible error margin. The acceptable operational tolerance of the tester is 10%. Therefore, let's select cyanuric acid. Press OK button. For the upper field, our CYA result was 50. We will leave this result unchanged. In the laboratory sample, the reading was 48. Let's change the result to 48. Press OK and then Save. The first and second cuvettes have been adjusted to reflect the accurate values we aimed for. Press OK and Continue. Next, press T3. In the third cuvette, we had Chlorine. Select Chlorine. Press OK button. In the upper field, input the value given by the tester, which is 0,78. It's important to accurately input this data, as it will be used for comparative analysis or further calibration of the device to ensure the readings are consistent and reliable. The upper field displays the results provided by the tester, while the lower field is for entering the results we want the tester to show. We want the tester to display a value of 0,72 for chlorine. Set this value and confirm it by pressing OK. We can now see that all three parameters displayed on the screen have been adjusted. All other parameters remain unchanged. Return to the main menu by pressing the zero button. In the main menu, above each selected parameter, we see a pencil icon. This pencil indicates that the parameters have been manually adjusted. Let's now conduct a test with these modified settings. Press the T1, T2, and T3 buttons, then confirm by pressing OK. Wait for the countdown to complete. The test is now complete. Let's check the results to assess how the values measured compare to our expectations and calibration settings. We've adjusted the pH by 0,01 and also modified the CYA levels. Now, the tester displays the same cyanuric acid value of 48 as the lab prepared samples, indicating that our adjustments have effectively aligned the tester's readings with the known standards. Additionally, the chlorine comparison is 0,72 and 0,71. Keep in mind that when we make adjustments, the tester might display 0,73 or 0,71, as in our case. This is due to a tolerance of 0,02, which is within the allowable error range of the tester. This variation is due to the inherent precision limits of the device, which can result in slight fluctuations around the target value. These small differences are normal and fall within the acceptable error margin of the tester. It's important to understand that while the device is highly accurate, like any scientific instrument, it still has a threshold for minimal deviations that can occur under standard testing conditions. We can run the test again to see if the results are consistent or if they vary within the allowed tolerance, either higher or lower. Press OK and let's run the chlorine test again. Wait for the countdown to finish.
This process may take a moment, but it is essential for ensuring that the tester accurately assesses the chlorine levels, providing reliable and precise results. Now, the tester displays a chlorine result of 0,73, which is a deviation of just 0,01 from the value we previously set. This slight difference falls within the tester's permitted tolerance range, making such results perfectly acceptable. Given this context, aiming to achieve precision at the second decimal place is not practical. Now that you have experimented and understood that all settings should be returned to factory mode, here's how to do it. Press the zero button to return to the previous menu. Press the menu button. Use the down button to scroll down and select settings. Press OK, then select, for example, pH. Press the menu button. Choose Delete. All done, the pH parameter has been reset to factory settings. In the same manner, select CYA, press Menu, then choose Delete. Next, select the last parameter, Chlorine. Press Menu and again choose Delete. The tester is now restored to factory settings. We can also try testing within a broader range of the laboratory sample. Insert the laboratory samples into the tester. This allows us to assess the sample under various conditions and parameters, providing a more comprehensive understanding of its properties and behavior. Press the menu button. We need to select different parameters for D1 and T3. For chamber D3, choose chlorine. For chamber D1, select alkalinity. Confirm with the OK button. Start the test by pressing the T1 and T3 buttons. Press OK and wait for the countdown to complete. The test is complete and the results are now displayed on the screen. Let's take a look and compare the results. For alkalinity, the laboratory sample shows 161, while the tester reads 163. Both are within the margin of error, so there is no need for adjustments. For chlorine, the laboratory sample is 1,92, and the tester also shows 1,92. Again, there is no need for adjustments as the results are well within the acceptable tolerance range. Go ahead, experiment, and explore. We hope this video helps you. Pull Water Lab. Perfect water, perfect moments. Test, trust, and dive in.